This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Hey, good morning. Parshas Kiseid say the Torah tells us, Parak Chav Gimel, Pasak Gimel, Loyavai, Mamzer Bekal Hashem, Gamdoyer Asiri, Loyavai Loy, Bekal Hashem. The Torah says one cannot uh, marry a Mamzer. The Mamzer cannot enter the congregation of Hashem, even the tenth generation. Why the emphasis on even the tenth generation? Why would the tenth generation be any different? So there is a Vart that is attributed to Reb Leibush Charif. This uh, Vart can be found in the Sefer Lach Benayim Hashem. In the Sefer Tiv HaParsha, it is also attributed to Reb Leibush Charif. Others attribute it to Reb Arye Leib Tzins. In the Sefer Pitpute Da'iraisa, it's attributed to Reb Arye Leib Tzins. And they say as follows. Here is the factor of the tenth generation. Every child comes from a father and mother. So, a mamzer in the first generation is a half. In the Dar HaRishayin, it would be a half. The Dar HaSheni, because there are four grandparents, is a quarter. In the third generation, an eighth. The fourth generation, a sixteenth. The fifth, one thirty-second, one thir- one thirty-second of a mamzer. In the sixth, one sixty-fourth. In the seventh, one out of one twenty-four. In the eighth, one out of two fifty-sixth. In the ninth, one out of five twelve. And in the tenth generation, he's one out of one thousand and twenty-four. So the mamzer is already out of a thousand, may elef. Now is a davar iser batol be'elef? Some isurim are batol be'elef. So the Torah is saying, but not the mamzer. Even in the tenth generation, where the mamzer is be'elef, is one out of 1,024, because we hold beria afilu be'elef loy batel. This is the explanation of Rab Leibish Charif, or Rab Arye Leib Tzins, of why the Torah emphasizes the tenth generation. However, there is a sefer, Rashimois Shnois Dar, a Rav Baruch Strasburger, and he brings that Rav Ari, that Rav Leibish Harif actually had a different question. And that is, in the Yushalmi, the Yushalmi wants to know, is the Mamzer Asr in the 11th or the 12th or the 13th, 13th generation? Maybe he's only Asr in the 10th, because that's all the Torah says. So the Yushalmi brings a... Gzeres Shava. The Gzeres Shava is, it says by Amani Amayav, Alav, Loyave Amani Amayav, Yukashem Ad Oilam. So just like Amani Amayav is Ad Oilam, Mamzer is also Ad Oilam. This is in the Yushami in Asara Yuchsin. Frekt Reb Lad Bishcharif, even though we hold that a Beria is not Bato Ba'elef, but the Yushami holds a Beria is Bato Ba'elef. Now according to the Yushami, why are you not allowed to marry Mamzer in the 10th generation? You have to say, it's Xer Sakosov, that even though the Mamzer is a Beria, and he's Be'elef, he's still Aser. So Aser, Laibish Charif, according to the Yushalmi, that even though typically a Beria is Bato Be'elef, here the Torah is saying, no, the Mamzer is not Bato Be'elef, then why do I need a Xeris, Xeris uh, Shava to learn out from Layavay Amani Mayavi? I would have thought a Mamzer should be Mutter in the 10th generation. So the Torah comes and says, no, he's not Mutter in the 10th generation. Xeris HaKosov. Well, once I have a Xeris HaKosov that the Mamzer is also even in the 10th generation, then why would I think he becomes Mutter at any other point? And I should not need a Xeris, a Xeris Shava to learn out that a Mamzer is also forever. Once. Once a tenth generation is Asr, which he should have been Mutter according to Yushalmi, so then I know the Mamzer is Asr forever. Bishlam, according to the Bavli, that a Beria is, is Asr even Be'elef and is not Bato Be'elef. So there's no reason to have thought in the tenth generation it should be Mutter. So the Torah says the tenth generation is Asr, but maybe only the tenth, maybe not the eleventh. But once I would have thought the tenth should be mutter, and the Torah still says it's Asr, according to the Yishalmi, that I would have thought the tenth generation should be mutter, because it's Be'elef, and the Torah still says it's Asr, so why do I need Xerah Shava to say it's Asr at Oilam? I already know that if it's Asr for the tenth generation, it should be Asr at Oilam. So this is the question that is attributed to 
uh, to Reb Leibish Harif of according to Yushalmi that Beria's Bato Ba'elef, why does Yushalmi need a Gzeira Shava? Once the tenth generation is Asr, then we should know on our own that the Mamzer is Asr forever. Okay, wishing everyone an amazing day. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.